What's up guys, this is Blooming Guy, and welcome back to another part in the of Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. In the last episode, we met Punio and the Shadow Sirens, and now we're going to go into the Bible Tree. Great. Wow, look at this. The Great Tree. It's so pretty. I think there's like a, there's a thing somewhere around here. I'm going to ignore you for a second, because there's a thing. Over there, see? Hiding and taking a nice bath right there. FP plus. We're probably gonna need it later. Eventually, we'll have enough badge points to do that. Um. Oh no! What's the? Ma oh, oh no! What's the matter? Oh well, take a look. The door wasn't. This door wasn't here before. Somebody just installed it, and I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh. Um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Uh. Got it! Where are you going? Buddy, where are you going? Hey. Okay. Long ago, the, the puny elder, puny, I guess, told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry warp. How the, how in the heck are we supposed to find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to remove, find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh. Oh, I got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so. Let's head back in the direction we came from. Wonder how I'm gonna make her sound. Hmm. Maybe like Bubby? From Flapjack? That'd be cool. Meanwhile, Flurry's house! Mansion! Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. Well, maybe she sounds like that I do declare type lady. I'm not good at lady voices. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this, then this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow even more lovely here. Plus those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. I wonder why. But I suppose if I stare too long, I'll begin to crave the hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on, on the stage on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and, my, and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone, gone, I tell you, my, my. Your insanity? Alright, so now we gotta go through more hell. And by that, I mean we gotta keep going and fighting all these things. Oh, it's just gonna jump. If we, had, if we head straight in this direction, which is the only direction we can go in in this game, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Pretty much. There's a couple of hidden secrets in here. Yeah, there's a star piece. Not the one I was looking for, but there's a star piece. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, I messed up, actually. Ah, see? Changed badges off screen. No more first strikes for you. Big. No, he can't do anything, so I'm just gonna sit there. 
Oh, I'm bad at this. Ooh. Why am I bad at this? That's so good. Oh, that was simple. Great. Ha. What's wrong with me today? Usually, let me get back into the swing of things. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. What is wrong with me today? I'm bad. Are you... Are you serious? This... This ain't working out. In the field. What is wrong with me? I cannot get all these action commands right. Just get some more points. Okay. That's nice. Are you... Come on. Ah, fingers. Get back into this. I know there's a thing in here. Yep. And then one of these little things right here is a... Uh, is this. Secret badge. P down, D up. Drops the damage your ally deals and receives by one. So, it's like hit and miss type thing. And a star piece. Just like I said. And there's Aiden Shine Sprite. Somewhere there. Yeah, you see? It's just like half a second, half a frame. Showed that. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. So, some people usually get stuck here. But how do you think outside the box and stuff? Oh. So, what's well, not hidden? Not as hidden as I thought. Okay. Shine spark. Okay. Yeah, that that guy's okay. Wait. Yeah. Good. Quake hammer. You know I'm gonna equip this with the quickness, right? This is one of the best badges in the game. Right here. Quake Hammer. I could take away Power Smash. What? I need to take another badge away, so I'll take away Close Call. And I'll place that with Quake Hammer. Best ability. One of the best badges in the game. Yeah! Ain't getting no jump. Not on me. You know I have to kill that guy with the quickness, right? Okay. He's probably just gonna use the item. There we go. He's just gonna use the item. Get dizzy, guys. Oh! Well, thanks, Lucky Day. That's cool. Goofs is all. Oh, I'm tripping out, guys. Oh, give me. Give me that. I need it. There's the star piece I was talking about. Okay, that's her house. Look, there, in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. Yeah, I don't think I'll have a boss fight with her, so I'm just gonna sit here and, uh... Oh, Voltron. Uh... I need everything except this end coupon, so. Should get the strange sack from the. Heh, <laughs> strange sack. From the. Thousand. Hundred. Pit. And there's another bat. Uh. Star piece. What I was saying was. I need to go to the pit of 100 trials and go to level 50 so I can get the strange sack, which lets me carry more items. And. Epic fail. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Well, she did previously. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're in here, say something. Okay. <gasps> no, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Oh, okay. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I last, since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's the stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so half puny. So they're in a pickle, and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all this way just for that? My adorable little Punio, do you know I would do anything in my power to help you? However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself and cannot come out. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out with my favorite necklace. I just can't seem to find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that is that. Gee whiz, it must be some nice necklace, huh? Hey, God. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can help you find your necklace. Word is, he's super. Mario. You can do it, right, Mario? Sure. I mean, he called me super. That's nice. Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Well, what I'm going to do is just go over there. And destroy those three idiots. I don't know if Quake Hammer will work. Bedlam, I told you. Blame me for losing the sketch, and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get all hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Guh, guh? Hey, look, it's from Paper Mario. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Guh, guh! Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You, you're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning to you, but no more. Aw. And since you caused the problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Uh, good. I'm gonna destroy that yellow one. That's she does not speak. And Miss Fowl over there, double destruction on an unimaginable scale. But I have to deal with these ads first. Ha! <laughs> Trap. Okay, I'm just gonna destroy this first, because he has a mushroom. And if he uses it on himself in full health, it's not gonna work. Bye, guys! Let's get a pull. Oh, I can't jump on him now. Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. That was stupid. Okay. So, I guess I'll just give Mario this mushroom. Here you go! Let's see. Yeah, hype. Alright, I'm getting back into the swing of things. 
getting back there, getting there, definitely. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here, and then we'll continue, and then we gotta go meet those shadow sirens. So I will catch you guys in the next part.